The first tip is a little self-awareness goes a long way. We all come to our couples with issues that are about us from childhood that have nothing to do with our significant others, but we put it on them. So if we can resolve some of those things, that would go a long way, or even if we're just aware of what our, our buttons are that aren't about our spouse, then at least in the middle of the fight, we can take a step back and not let it escalate. The second thing is, listening is key. We all just want to be heard, and so when we're in the middle of a fight, we're either talking over our significant other, or we're just waiting for them to finish so we can then make our point. Listen to them, acknowledge, validate, and then you can talk about what you want to talk about. And you'd be surprised that if you treat your significant other with respect, they may treat you back the same way and you can avert a huge fight. The third thing is compromise. And what that means by definition is both sides sacrifice, not just one person to make the peace. And the final thing, our significant others are not the enemy. They're the person we fell in love with. They're the person we committed to, we trust, we rely on. So when we're embroiled in wanting to get our own way or they've hurt us, that goes out the window and we end up really treating them with disrespect and, and we have to be mindful of that and if you are, things will go so much better in your household.